Hi students, <coughs> today let's discuss regarding nebulization. First of all, we can see the definition of nebulization. Nebulization is a process of dispersing liquid medication into microscopic particles or aerosols and delivering into lungs as patient inhales. It is a form of procedure in which we are trying to disperse the liquid medication. which can be given in the form of microscopic particles or aerosols and these particles will be delivered to the lungs as the patient takes breath. Okay. So next, so this is a picture of a baby who is taking nebulization. Okay. So this is the mass. The articles which are used for nebulization will be really In the coming slides. Next, we can see the purposes of nebulization. To administer medications directly into respiratory tract for sputum expectoration. Suppose if the patient is having respiratory difficulties due to the accumulation of sputum within their lung, parenchyma, or uh, respiratory tract, we can provide nebulization in the form of administering medications. To soften that uh, thick tenacious secretions and to expect to that collected sputum. Okay, then to reduce the difficulty in bringing out thick tenacious respiratory secretions. Suppose the patient has breathing difficulty in association with the production or accumulation of thick tenacious secretions, we can provide nebulization to soften this accumulated secretions so that patient can cup out and spit down the secretions after the nebulization. Through that, patient will get a relaxation or a uh, relief from that breathing difficulty. Then to increase the vital capacity, due to the accumulation of these forms of tenacious secretions within the lungs, it will reduce the vital capacity. So while doing this nebulization procedure, we can improve the vital capacity of the patient so as the patient can take the breath normally. And also we can relieve that breathing difficulty of that patient. Then to relieve dyspnea. Dyspnea means breathing difficulty or the patient can't take the breath normally. That is dyspnea. So if the patient is suffering from dyspnea, we can administer bronchodilator through the nebulization. Okay, so these are the main purposes of nebulization. Next, which are the articles needed for delivering the nebulization. That is air compressor should be needed then connecting to the nebulizer, which is the most important instrument which is needed to deliver the nebulization, and medication and saline solution. According to the patient's problem, doctor will prescribe the medications and we can add into this nebulizer and provide nebulization. Then sterile water can be used, cotton balls, face mask, sputum cup with disinfectant. So immediately after the nebulization, through this nebulization, we are providing uh, or dispersing the liquid medications in the form of minor particles. So after the nebulization, patient will exhibit or patient can expect to the sputum so that sputum can be collected in this sputum cup with this infection and disposable tissues and kidney injury. Kidney injury is mainly collected to, to collect the waste product. So this is the common articles made for delivering in nebulization. So this is a picture of nebulizer. In this, this is the compressor. This is nebulizer and this is the compressor. This is the tubing. Through this, we can connect the uh, nebulizer cup with the nebulizer compressor. Okay. Then this is the mouthpiece. Then this nebulizer cup through into which we can administer this medication and this is the tubing. Through this nebulizer cup, there will be a connection to the Compressor that is called as tubing. Okay, so this is a nebulizer with a nebulization mask. Okay, nebulization mask will put a nebulizer on. So, this connection area is going to the plug below that. So, the connect here is the one of one. If it already tip here, nebulizer will connect here with the tubing and the other one will be the nebulizer cup below that. This nebulizer cup will be the nebulization mask. This is nebulization mask. Okay, this is kidney tray as you all know, this is kidney tray and this is sputum cup, into which we have to pour some disinfectant solution. Okay, 
Then these are the common medications that we can use to deliver the nebulization procedure. So this is dioling. Dioling rescues can be available and beauty for rescues, it prevents and for according uh, rescues and different kinds of rescues are available. So according to the doctors order, we can select and administer the medication okay commonly commonly use the medication than we do it beauty for the for our the types of nebulizer nebulizer of different kind first is the inhaler or meter dose nebulizer this is the meter dose uh, nebulizer the jet nebulizers are available the ultrasound nebulizer so the mechanism will be the ultimate principle will be same but the mechanism, how it can be used will be different. Okay. Then the procedure. So we can discuss regarding what is the main procedure of administering nebulization. First is to identify the patient and check physician's instruction. From that, we will get an idea that what kind of medication that is being used to deliver the nebulization and the amount of medication that is to be added. Okay. It will ensure that the right procedure is done for by the patient. Always identify the patient will help the nurse to do the procedure very safely okay then monitor the heart rate before and after the treatment for patients using bronchodilator drugs for administering nebulization we are providing bronchodilators because through due to the accumulation of this tenacious secretion within the respiratory tract the tract will be occluded so we have to dilate this occluded bronchi we can provide a bronchodilator therapy okay for that we can administer bronchodilators so as a complication of this bronchodilator sometimes patient may develop tachycardia palpitation dizziness and nausea so before going to perform and after after completing the procedure of nebulization we have to move to the heart rate whether it was increased or not okay tachycardia means what it is an increased pulse rate over than 100 beats per minute. Palpitation mean, means patient is having a tendency to increase heart rate. Patient in a tone, no. It is in the coordinate tone, business closer. So, do not know before and after heart rate check. No, I remember. I will bring what I get therapy and I will decide if it will be done. Okay. Then explain the procedure to the patient. This therapy depends on patient's effort. Complete patient in your area for the lung and the nebulization will be successful. So, we have to explain the reasons for providing this procedure to the patient. What are the effects that you have expected from that procedure? In the end of the chain, 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 automatically they will provide full cooperation for this procedure. Proper explanation helps to ensure patient's cooperation and effectiveness of therapy. The treatment will be effective only if the patient is very much cooperative to this procedure. Okay, then place the patient in a comfortable position. Mostly we are providing sitting or semi powerless position. Then only the diaphragm will be in a proper position and the patient can take breath normally. Okay, diaphragmatic excursion and lung compliance are greater in this sitting and semi powerless position. This ensures maximum distribution and deposition of aerialized particles to base of lungs. If you are sitting position, you can go to the semi-polis position, you can go to the complete lung expansion, and diaphragmatic expansion, you can go to the arm position, you can go to minor particles, and you can go to the base of lungs, so you can go to the arm. So, complete and bronchial dilator, you can go to the arm, you can go to the sitting and semi-polis position. Then, are the prescribed amount of medication? Sometimes it may be deolin or beauty, but ask for doctor's order. Okay, doctor's order and saline or sterile water to the nebulizer. We can use either saline or sterile water with this medication. Sometimes we can provide medications alone. Okay, connect the tubing to the compressor. A point missed from the device should be visible. A pill of medicine and nebulization is not available. Pogas, so that you open your power volume in them, every month of my complete character, medicine and the dispersal and the prime tool. Aerosol particles enable deep penetration due to cure bronchial tree. Minor particles are in water, and the cure bronchial tree will be completely deep penetration on the side. So that this fine root should be come out from this nebulizer. Okay. So this is the picture of how we can call these medications. Okay. We will ask you on that. We will put the medication cup on the nebulizer. Which indicates that 
this medicate medicine is completely poured within the medication cup okay then we can connect this medication cup with the nebulizer mask this is nebulizer mask this is medication cup okay then place mask on patient's face to cover his mouth and nose and instruct him to inhale deeply and slowly through mouth hold breath and exhale several times so while doing this nebulization procedure before go, before going to perform this nebulization we should instruct the patient to take deep breath and we should tell the patient to take a deep breath slowly through the mouth Hmm? And hold that breath and then exhale several times. It's a but uh, exhale mechanisms of nebulization. Okay, provide the breath with the inhale here and the chichum person hold here, then exhale here. Okay, this encourages optimal dispersion of this medication. If there's some errors of particles and complete base of the lungs, okay. Then observe the expansion of chest to ascertain that patient is taking deep breaths. Breathe. We should observe the chest expansion of the patient. Okay. This will ensure that medication is deposited below the level of oral fat. Okay. Then this is the This will ensure that medication is deposited below the level of oral fat. Chest expansion is adequated on the left. We can confirm that patient has or the medication has reached in its correct position. Okay. Then instruct the patient to breathe slowly and deeply until all the medication is nebulized. Complete and how do you to go over the medium? Patient deep by the breath at the hall there. Smooth tired exhalation. Our process continues to be the main strategy. Medication will always be nebulized within 15 minutes. More than it, up to 15 minutes of time, patient should take deep breath and hold that breath and exhale. Very slowly. Okay. Therefore, number made a minimum time duration of 15 minutes. Then, on completion of the treatment, encourage the patient to cough after several deep breaths. So, immediately after the nebulization procedure, our ultimate aim is to soften the thick, tenacious secretions and to cough out or spit out this sputum. Okay, that is ultimate aim or to maintain the patency of the respiratory tract is ultimate aim of nebulization. So immediately after completing the procedure, we can encourage the patient to cough after the several labor so that the patient can spit out the sputum. The medication may dilate the airways, which means bronchi, bronchi will be dilated and facilitating its filtration of secretions. Bronchi constant and bronchi dilate you know, and then accumulate you know, our secretions of the particular hands. The word. Okay. Also, the patient put an adverse reaction to the treatment because in the previous slide we have discussed regarding what are the symptoms that the patient can exhibit during this procedure due to the addition of this bronchodilator therapy. Okay, so we have to observe this patient carefully. Patient may develop bronchospasms due to the inhalation of aerosols. Tell us how many the patient with bronchospasms now the saga did. When a patient is severe, severe disease, a great infinite disease, no calm, saturation for no calm, in the little amount of saga. Then the fluid may also cause the dry and retain secretions in airways, leading to narrowing of airway. If we number of aerosol particles, I will know, the number of airways dry on the side of the water. So, secretion can be retained within this airway and cause narrowing of airway. When a narrow number of people in a patient will be in the field, you put a patient will be. Or So this is a picture in which we can identify the simple procedure that is an ablation in this picture. Okay. First is you have to wash your hands before going to perform any kind of procedure. We have to make sure that our hand is completely free from the damage. Okay. Then after the wa uh, washing of hands and dried it very well, we should place a medication into the cup. So in the previous slide I have shown that picture, isn't it? So if the medication is in a bottle, we can take it through this dropper or if you are using this um, Respools, we can directly pour it in the cup. Then attach the mouthpiece, which, which uh, this is the nebulization mask. We can attach directly to the medicine cup. Then connect the tubing. One end of this tubing will be connected to the nebulizer, and the other end will be connected to the nebulizer mask. Then turn on the air compressor. Air compressor, we can, this uh, switch is made to on and off this 
This uh, this is mainly for switch on switch off that nebulizer. Then we can connect this nebulization mask to the patient's face. Okay, so by applying this mask to the patient's face, you should make sure that this tie will be not too tight or not too loose. Then, record the medication used and description of the secretions expected Immediately after the procedure, you have to document the medication, uh, document the procedure. In that, you can mention regarding what kind of medication that, that you have used, either the duolin or uh, the buric or whatever it is, you can um, mention regarding the kind of medication that is being used. Then, the description of secretions, whether the patient can spit out that sputum. If the patient can spit out the sputum, then just um, know the uh, color of the sputum. Okay, then disassemble all and clear the nebulizer of the each use, keep the equipment in patient's room. If we normally nebulizer uh, individually, like we call them, nebulizer should mask individually on the code kind of study. And that can be act as a medium for infection. Okay, proper cleaning and sterilization and storage of equipment prevents organisms from Entering the lungs. A print of nebulization mask will separate the separate patients from the film vector. Then, special consideration if indicated for nebulization using oxygen source. Suppose normal nebulization could have been oxygen supporter. Suppose if the patient is having severe breathing difficulty to prevent saturation ball, you can provide nebulization along with the oxygen support. So, for any other breathing difficulty, the patient can also support the matter. When the patient is sick, how the saturation for how many signs start dancing? We can provide this nebulization along with oxygen source. So, in this class, we have mainly discussed regarding the nebulization procedure. What are the needed articles? Which are the purposes of nebulization? What are the needed articles? And the types of nebulizer and the parts of nebulizer. And we have dealt regarding the procedure along with the nursing action as well as with the rationale. I hope you got an idea regarding this procedure very well. Just go through this note. And if you have any doubt, you can contact me at any time. Okay, thank you.